Dot plots are helpful visual tools that give us a pretty good idea about the distribution of a data by displaying its datum as a point and stacking the data points with the same values on top of each other. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the student survey data from the rguru user's guide repository. If you would like further assistance loading this data set, please reference our video, Importing a Data Set from a Repository. This data set surveyed 75 statistics students and had them respond on 13 different questions. The variable random10 is the variable I'm most interested in exploring. This variable asks students to select a single number from 1 to 10. I'd like to see which of these numbers outrank the others, if any. From the Plots toolbar, select on Create Plot, and then scroll down to Dot Plot. Once we have selected the student survey data, our guru will automatically fill in all the variables that are numerical and those that are factors. Let's begin by dragging the random 10 variable over to the selected box on its right. You can also use the right and left arrow buttons to do this as well. I'm going to title this visual dot plot of selected numbers, and for my x-axis, I'm going to label it numbers 1 through 10. When we hit the preview icon, we will see that lucky number 7 was the number that students selected the most. Number 8 was a close second, and number 3 was the third most selected. Now this is a good start. However, what if we were interested in taking a deeper dive into this random 10 variable? Our guru makes it easy for you to split your dot plot results into subcategories by using the categorical variables. To do this, scroll back up to the basics button, and this time I'm going to add in the variable sex to the selected box area. This new variable classifies whether a student was either male or female. And just like that, let's hit the preview icon and see our results. Interesting enough, we see that male students pick the number 8 more than they pick the number 7. Nonetheless, the numbers 5 and 7 were neck and neck for second place. While female students still had the number 7 as the most selected number. And now number 3 moving up to second place. That gives us a new insight. Lastly, I want to show you how to take an even deeper dive into our data and how to customize your dot plots even more. Not only are we going to break this random 10 variable down by male and female, we're also going to divide out these results by the day of the week in which the student took their statistics class, either Monday or Wednesday, or Tuesday and Thursday. Scrolling back up to the basics button one more time, drag the class day variable over to the selected box area with sex. Once we do this, the multiple factor section becomes active. Here we can decide on how we want our dot plot to color a specific factor. I would like our plot to color the results by the sex variable. However, by hitting the level editor button, we have the ability to customize our dot plot even more. Let me show you what I mean. Here I'm going to click on the sex factor and scroll over to the level F. To the right, the level and point toolboxes all of a sudden become active. Hitting the plus sign on both of these will allow you to see all the aspects you can customize. For this label, I'm going to type in female, and then choose the color blue. Now for the character, I'm going to scroll down to the diamond shape located at number 18. The alpha creates a transparency level if you want to see through your dots, or in this case now my diamonds. For demonstration purposes, Let's just set this to 0 0.5. For the M level, I'm just going to type in male. And before I hit the preview icon, I do want to point out that you can reset all your factor level changes with the buttons at the very bottom of this dialog box. You can also drop certain factor levels should you want to exclude them from the visual. To do so, just place them in the drop level section. Now let's see what our customized results look like. And without a doubt, 7 is still the clear winner within the four subgroups. On a final note, if you would like to compare the distribution of two or more numerical variables, such as hours of sleep compared to hours of watching TV, just add both numerical variables to the selected box area. 
In doing this, the factor numericals will appear, letting you know that you are about to compare two or more distributions. If you would like further details and examples on how to create dot plots, we encourage you to reference the chapter, Creating Dot Plots, from our user guidebook.